Hey guys, it's Dustin, and today I'm painting my mirror. This one right here. So a while back, I saw some TikToks of people painting their mirrors, and they painted like clouds on them, and I thought that shit was super cute. Cute, cute, cute. Kyo, Kyo. So I decided I want to do that too. I've also been in a very artsy mood lately. Like lately I've been really wanting to like paint something. I don't really do art that much other than in school when I was in art class. But other than that, I don't really do art outside of school just because, I don't know, I just have never had that need or want or that passion to really invest myself in an art piece. Since it's summer break, I feel like this is the time to get some art done before you're, you know, dying during school. So this is a circle mirror that I thrifted from Goodwill for a few bucks. It was super cheap. I use this mirror a lot. Every time I do my hair, I use this mirror. So let's hope that I don't fuck it up. I do have another mirror. It's like a smaller circle mirror up there. I was thinking about painting that instead because I don't really use that one, but I do use this one. But then I thought, why not? Go big or go home. So yeah, we're painting clouds on my mirror because I saw some TikToks and I thought it looked really cute. It looks like you're in like a fantasy land when you're looking at your reflection. I thought that shit was magical and mystical. I want to live that fantasy life, you know. Basically, we're painting my mirror with clouds. Let's get started. I do have some references. I'm going off the TikToks that I found originally that sparked this idea. So boom, boom. There it is. I have like these mini bottles of paint and also these big bottles of paint. Whichever one works, I, I have both. I feel like these are kind of liquidy. Oh, I thought I got paint on my freaking carpet. Whew, that would have been bad. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with white and red. We're just gonna go for it because I can just wipe it off if I don't like it. I don't want to completely paint the whole like section because I want to do more like kind of like a frame border type just so that I can still use the mirror. I think I'm just gonna start with the white paint and then I'm going to slowly build in the pink because I kind of want like a pink cloud sunset con candy skies aesthetic type mirror. That's what I'm going for, you know? So if you guys didn't know, I do like doing art. I can sort of do art. I'm not the best at it, but I'm definitely, definitely, definitely not the worst at it. I have taken art classes as my electives. Actually, this year, my junior year, was my last year of actually doing art because I don't want to do AP art. AP art just seems like a lot of work and I'm not about that shit. I'm trying to make my senior year easier just so I have time to do YouTube and stuff. Maybe if I, like, actually committed to school, I could, like, do AP art, but, like, it's just a lot of work to do that and I'm just not... I don't feel like crying and stressing out and having a breakdown. I wouldn't say like I'm super good, but I have enough skills that I feel like would benefit me in the future if I ever need to like, you know, design something like for merch. Because I don't really do art that often on my own, so that's why I'm not like, you know, great. But, you know, I can like do projects like these and like, you know, not make it look completely ugly and gross. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see how this turns out. I could be a hypocrite. I could be horrible, and I could just be hyping myself up right now. Even though I'm not really hyping myself up, I'm kind of being self-deprecating, but, you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I don't know, art just really isn't my biggest, like, thing. It's not my, like, my everything, you know? I used to really love it, but it's just not really my passion anymore. I feel like if I didn't have YouTube, maybe I would invest myself in it more, but like I still love doing it, but it's definitely a hobby, not a career choice. Like I don't want to go to art school or anything, so that's why I kind of just like, it's kind of a fun thing. Art's just kind of a fun thing for me. I recently got contacts. Obviously I'm not wearing them right now as you can see. If you guys like look at my Instagram or at some of my videos, and for the two people that follow me on TikTok, you would have noticed that I don't really wear my glasses as much anymore just because contacts just make me feel better and make me feel more confident. Right now I'm not wearing them just because I ran out. I ordered new contacts, but they're gonna take a little bit to come back in. Not saying you're not gonna see me with my glasses ever again, because you will, but I'm just gonna be wearing contacts now too. So I'm gonna be switching. It's gonna be switching it up. We're gonna switch it up. Now that we got this vibe going, I can't believe I just said that. When I first got contacts, they were a struggle. They do not stick on my eye. My eyes are so small because, you know, I'm Asian, so obviously I don't have the biggest eyes in the world. Ooh. 
paint mixing. So artsy, so cool. Mixed two different shades of pink, a light pink and a darker pink, and we're gonna go ham on this shit. I do struggle putting them on still, and it's been like three weeks, but you know, hopefully I'll get used to it. Hopefully it just like all works out, because I did order like four months worth of contacts. So hopefully it all works out. My eyes are actually so small that they're so hard to put in. I have to like stretch my eyelids and like tuck it under my eyelid because my eyes do not stretch very far. So like usually people can like look up, put it in like in 10 seconds. No, it takes me like 15 minutes to put in my contacts. Let me move the frame. I can't believe people can like see. You don't have to pay for your vision. Isn't that crazy? Y'all wake up and you see, like it's clear. You can see the world like, I can show you the world for free naturally and other people have to like pay for vision like me also with contacts i noticed there's so many benefits like i can see without going like this every five minutes also with roller coasters i can actually like see while i'm riding i don't have to take off my glasses and have everything be blurry also i can put on sunglasses now what Insane. Before, I could never wear sunglasses, and if I did, it was just so I can look cool because really, I can't see shit if I don't have my glasses on. Can, like, y'all stop with the, these TikTok notifications? I'm just, like, so popular on TikTok, you know? I just love being TikTok famous. One of my TikToks that I posted yesterday popped off. So, yeah, now I'm kind of, like, TikTok famous or whatever. Um, don't mean to flex, but... TikTok famous. <laughs> I kind of don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just like putting paint on here and blending it and hoping for the best. I should be looking at my reference more, but I'm really just not. I'm just kind of lazy at this point. So I'm kind of just going for it. Mm -hmm. I'm so, I'm Picasso. Da Vinci who? Vincent Van Gogh who? I don't know them. I only know myself, the greatest artist in the world. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry so then I can like add more layers. Is this looking cute? Kind of not. Kind of looking like trash. Is it looking cute? Actually, wait, it's kind of looking cute. Wait. I might have just popped off. I did a good thing. I don't regret the thing that I did. Show you what I tell you. Tell you what I did. I did a good thing. Not only am I TikTok famous, but I'm also a vocalist. What can I say? What can I say? I'm delirious. What was I even talking about? I was talking about contacts and then shit kind of just got wild out of there. I'm kind of sore right now because I went to the gym yesterday. Not to flex. Oh, uh, I'm so swole. My arm totally does not look like a noodle. The first time I went to the gym was not good. I was so self-conscious. had so much anxiety. Straight up, I went to the gym and left after 20 minutes. I went on the treadmill in Converse because I didn't have workout shoes then. Then a few weeks ago when I started going and I went on the treadmill because I watched this YouTube video that was like if you are self-conscious and don't want to just like walk around your gym and look at everything just go on the treadmill so then you can look around as you walk <sighs> and tell me why this dude decides to get the treadmill right next to me like why when there's so many other treadmills he was like nah I know you're in the corner right now and I know you don't want anyone to run next to you but I'm gonna run next to you then he started actually like running like he moved up the speed and I was over here literally just walking on the treadmill at like the first level since he was right next to me I felt pressured to be like oh shit now I gotta run so then I started moving it up and then he kept moving it up and I was like I can't let this bitch run faster than me. So the next thing you know, I'm fucking sprinting on the treadmill in my Converse. Also, when I was trying to walk around the gym, looking around at all the machines and stuff, just to know where everything was at, but little self-conscious me hated that and felt like everyone was looking at me. So every time I felt like someone was staring at me or I felt too awkward, I would just jump on the nearest machine next to me. Even if I didn't know how the machine worked, I would just go on it. And I think y'all can tell what happened next. I looked stupid also if i had too much anxiety i would just go to the bathroom and hide in the stall for a few minutes and then like recoup myself and then go out and that happened about like three times also i went at night and i thought it wouldn't be super busy because it's at night time yeah apparently everybody works out at night it was busy as flippity flap flaps and there were teenagers there guys teenagers the most judgmental people in the world and i know that because i'm a teenager if it was like all moms i would be fine with that because moms are like who's scared of a mom Actually, I am. But who's like scared of like white suburban moms? Not me. But nah, there were like teenagers there and I'm just, I just wasn't, I, like I was miscalculating. I was rebooting. I was not functioning. That was my little story about going to the gym for the first time. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking right now because I talk too much and quite frankly, I feel like you guys don't care. So I'm gonna work on this. I'm not gonna completely finish it. I'm just gonna get a bit of it done and then I might do like a time lapse or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, so I'm gonna have to take a pause on this. So, to be continued. It's not that bad, considering I haven't done art in a while. Here's how it's looking, by the way. I feel like it's kind of cute. You can kind of tell from far away. Definitely, I need to blend out and transition the dark pinks with the white, but we're working on it. It is a work in progress. It is now the next day because... I didn't realize how long this would take. So here it is so far. I didn't finish it yet, but I did finish most of it. The clouds, it could have looked better. No, like it definitely could have been better if I knew how to paint clouds, but apparently I don't. The thing that made it hard was that I'm painting on a mirror and not a canvas, so it's hard to blend the paints. And also when I was trying to add more layers to it, it would keep scraping off. This is the best I could do. I mean, if you look far away and squint a little bit, it looks like kind of like clouds. It's definitely not the worst thing in the world. Like it still looks pretty on camera. Definitely. I feel like it looks better in real life. It doesn't look that great, but I still like it though. So today I'm just gonna add final touches, clean it up. And I want to add like little sparkly star type things. Wow. Should have definitely used better paints, but you know, I'm broke. So we're just doing what we got to do. We're just using what we got. So right now I'm going to add little stars to it. And I think I'll pretty much be done after that. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. Yeah. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it definitely is not the best thing in the world. I kind of wish I like looked up some YouTube tutorials, but I was just way too lazy to do that. I kind of just let myself do my thing. I think it's kind of cute. I think it'll look cute in pictures. If this is how it turned out, let me actually maybe not let me know what you guys think. If it's positive, let me know. If it's negative, my confidence is already down here. I don't really need that in my life. I'm just gonna put it over here now because I feel like the reflection is kind of trippy. So that is pretty much it for this video. Y'all see that? So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So... Bye!